OK, but if, uh, if he does show up, you'll, you'll give us a ring. Cheers. I've just had a thought. Where did Bobby go last time he disappeared? The common. Yeah, like, I need this. Do you want me to come with you? No, you start trawling the market, Jane. You stay here and... He might already be on his way back. Look, call as soon as you... Yeah, I will. Are you going in or not? Do you really think they won't let me see him? No chance. Do you still think that Ben done this? Happy, it doesn't matter what I think, does it? All right, let's go home then. I'm sorry, sir, but you're talking to the wrong person. <clears throat> you need to talk to the press office. Yes. Why are you being like this? If Calmendi's identified Max Branning as being there too, we can't just ignore it. You'd do as well to watch your tone of voice. He's sitting in his car outside right now with his daughter. Yes, and we will deal with that after we've re-interviewed Ben Mitchell. Can I make an observation, Mom? You're maybe letting your obsession with Phil Mitchell cloud your judgement. And you're letting your professional frustrations cloud yours. Should I be making a note of this conversation, Mum? Uh, something's come up. We'll be straight back. And as I've just told you, all inquiries about arrests have to go through the press office. Mr Carmendi. Excuse me. That's the lady I want to see. Yeah, in a minute. Bobby. What are you doing there all by yourself? Nothing. It's in the bag. Nothing. Let's have a look. Yes, exactly. Well, he was parked over there. How sure are you that it was the same man? Very sure. He went into the flat with her and the drunk man. He had a dog. All right, well, take a statement. Could you come back inside so I could get that down in writing? Now, I ain't gonna ask you again. Where did you get this, eh? Does your dad know you're here? Right, you come with me. Come. Been a bit of a hold up. What? Hold on, I was told two minutes about half hour ago. All right, well, it can't be helped. Here you go. Just so as you give us a good write up on Nick Advisor. Yeah. Not even a sniff. That was always going to be a long shot. I mean, it's not like Mitchell was ever going to leave anything dodgy lying around for us to faint now, was it? Well, you know our taxi driver? He's ID'd Max Branning with Lucy Beale on the night of the murder. I'm taking a statement from him now. Are you kidding me? Speak of the devil. He's just turned up here with his daughter. Now, it's your lucky day, Cameron. I'm not sure whether you can actually nail a slime ball, but I'll definitely enjoy scraping them off my shoe. Don't suppose I can go and nick them now, eh? Uh, no, I want to go over his earlier statements first. Find me as soon as you get back and we'll talk then. All right, will do. 